Welcome to Film in 5D, the show that unmasks everything film in the 5D Mark II. I'm your host, Aaron Hammock. This week, I show you one of my favorite tools in After Effects called the Masking Tool. In later episodes, we'll be talking about a variety of special effects that you see all over YouTube, but I figured we'd start with the basics. I literally use the masking tool for every single episode we ever shoot on Film in 5D. Episode? <laughs> What'd I say? You said episode. Oh, whatever. Whether it be green screen footage, where I need to remove parts that won't keep properly with the rest of the screen, or having multiple versions of the same actor or actress interact on the screen together, and I even used it extensively in our first short film to further push the point that Grimm was something out of this world. The point is, the masking tool is essential to learn, even if you're like me and not all that into visual effects. The technical term for masking frame by frame is rotoscoping, and I've met some rotoscopers in the industry that make $500 an hour. Today I'll be teaching how to basically get by when it comes to rotoscoping, but we might do a more advanced tutorial in the future, but hopefully you'll understand it enough to go try it for yourselves. So would this be like a $8 an hour rotoscoping? Yeah, like, not even get paid, just do your own work rotoscoping. If you plan to rotoscope a shot in post, you should always try to shoot on a tripod whenever possible. That way, you only have to track for your subject's movements, and not the movements of the camera. And always make sure to get a clean plate, which is basically an extra shot with the same framing as the shot you want to mask out. This way, there is always a full shot under all of the cropped layers. Another thing to consider when you're doing a shot where there's going to be a heavy amount of rotoscoping involved is the lighting. This is especially true when it comes to shadows on a wall or on the ground and it can become very noticeable if you're not careful. If you're trying out the masking tool for the first time, I'd recommend shooting indoors. That way you have more control over variables like lighting and the environment. Next, we'll head over to After Effects to show you some tricks when using the masking tool in After Effects. But first, a message from our sponsor. <sighs> Dude, I cannot believe it rained today. We didn't get anything done at all. Totally whack. Maybe we should just watch some TV. Uh, there's nothing but stupid infomercials on anyways. Dude, I think we should just call the night. Wait a second. Dude, that's it. That's what? We could totally make a product and sell it on TV, like one of those commercials. <sighs> Dude, yes, that is such a good idea, man. Let's do it right now. Dude, we could be rich. Dude, I got it. A blanket that you wear backwards, like a robe. No, man, that's stupid. Okay, wait, wait. How about a button you press when you've fallen down so that the police can come and help you get back up? Come on, man, that's ridiculous. What are cell phones for? Oh, why is it so hard to come up with a simple invention these days? Dude. Aaron, you are a genius! I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> no, dude, you don't understand. We just have to keep it simple. Do you love to play finger football, but hate it when you actually have to make them for yourself? Well, now you don't have to! From the creators of Film in 5D and those idiots next door come super flying paper footballs. These babies are handcrafted with maximum aerodynamic materials and precision. They also come with special metallic clips that are out of this world, giving your super flying paper footballs crazy range. These bad boys come in packs of three. That's three times the fun. But that's not all. Order in the next 30 minutes and receive an extra pack for free. Plus shipping, handling, and folding. You're not going to want to miss out on this special offer. Order now with just three payments of $19.95. That's just three payments of $19.95. Plus shipping, handling, and folding fees. Order now by calling 1-866-123-4567. That's 1-866-123-4567. Don't wait. Order today. Other fees and taxes may be added to any order. You only get one special clip per Not every pack will actually include the clip. We're not liable for any injuries that are definitely to use of this product. Glasses whenever you play with these balls. This product is extremely flammable and should not be used by anyone without supervision of a firefighter. There have only been a few thousand injuries linked to the use of this product to play safe. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects. As you can see, we're taking a look at a shot from uh, episode 4. We had to get Colton in there twice, so we had to mask it out. Um, so we're going to show you how to briefly show you how to use the masking tool. So you're going to start off with a new composition, name it whatever you want. And you're going to take your clean plate that you shot, if you use a tripod, and you can put that at the bottom. 
and then every every layer that's the furthest away is going to be the next layer above. So the layer that's the closest, which is this one, where Colton's right in front of the camera, that's going to be on top. And so we're going to go over to the pen tool, which you know, press G, and we're going to make a brief outline of what we want to cut out. And uh, hug, hug the walls if you can, it helps to hide shadows, I find. And uh, we're going to change the mask to subtract so that the layer below it is showing through. And we're going to add some points using pressing G again, turning the pen tool into a plus sign. And add a little bit more detail to our mask and press G again we get it to a V shape and we could add a little bit of curves to it to the lines this helps if you're you know not necessarily for this particular thing but you know if you have a round shape that you need to mask out this helps out a lot so you don't need a thousand points you just use that all right and then we're gonna take a look at the properties in the mask and uh, you know we got the path right there we're gonna start off with a little bit of feathering just add a little bit of feathering to it Make, make the mask a little more seamless, a little less jagged. Then we're gonna keyframe this position right here. And a cool thing about After Effects is that, you know, if you jump forward, you know, 20 frames and you move your mask, it's pretty smart and it knows what you're, you know, what you're trying to mask out. And, you know, you can use tracking for this, which we'll get into in the future, but that works pretty good right there. Obviously, you're gonna have to go back and fix a few points that weren't perfect, but it saves a lot of time, you know, especially if, you know, if you plan it out in advance. All right, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, the minus tool, and you can use this, but you got to be aware that every time you take away a point, it's going to take it away for the whole mask. So you just got to be aware of which ones you're getting rid of. And uh, we'll come back next week and show you the rotor brush and a little more advanced masking. And that's it for this week. But if you have any questions, feel free to send them to me via at mentions on twitter.com for such Aaron Hammock, or if you're on Facebook. You can check out our new page at this link here. You can also go show some love to our Twitter page at Filmin 5D, and we'll be back next week with some more tips and tricks regarding the masking tool. Dude, we have a Facebook page now? Yeah, man. I hate Facebook, dude. There's so much bad. It's like if you're gonna tell somebody what you're eating for dinner, you only got 140 characters, you know? You don't have to yes. freaking read this whole freaking story on what their whole freaking day, you know? It's pretty yeah. awesome. I don't know. But Twitter but, doesn't have likes, dude. Yeah, so. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter.